We are bachelor student of engineering technology in manufacturing. So now we would like to demonstrate the stopping distance of a car. Enjoy. First of all, I would like to explain the stopping distance definition. You will be mistaken to think that the braking system is the same as the overall stopping distance. Question in the real test can seem tricky unless read carefully. Okay, let's go to the what is the thinking distance. Thinking distance is a distance that the car travel after a driver has seen a danger and before the brakes are applied. Some people reaction are faster, but the average distance it takes before the driver realizes the danger ahead is 20 feet when traveling at 20 miles per hour. Please note that this figure and facts are for a driver who alert and well rested, in good health and not impaired by alcohol or medication. Weather and road condition, as well as the type of vehicle and weight of the load being carried can also affect the stopping distance. What is braking distance? The distance that the car is braking. If the brakes apply, the car slow down and the average of the car will travel 22 feet before coming to a complete stop. When traveling at 20 mph, the overall stopping distance is a combination of the two above. The, uh, when trying to visualize a distance, it is useful to remember that the length of the average car is approximately 15 feet. Therefore, 75 feet would be about 5 car lengths away. Hi, so this is our driver, Muhammad Asif, and he's gonna show you how the demonstration. Let's start, okay? Yo. So, what we can conclude, the stopping distance of a car can be caused and affected by three factors. One, the velocity of a car. Two, the driver's reaction. And the lastly is the condition of the road. Thank you. That's, That's all from us.